them. Glass vases saved from floral arrangements or ones we've bought over the years. And I don't know about you, but we, I don't want to get rid of them because we might just need them someday. Okay, so Jackie, you're here because you want us to dig them out yeah. and do something with them. Exactly. You can use them for all sorts of different things around the house. Okay, so I don't know about you, but yes. I actually have a cupboard that just has a ton of vases. Yes. You know, over the years, we get vases from, you know, a knock at the door, there's flowers, it's wonderful, yes. you get a vase, you got to throw a dinner, somebody comes and, you know, yes. oh, thank you, you got another vase. So you end up with a thousand vases, different shapes, different sizes. Now, mm -hmm. these vases are brilliant for designers and stagers because I'll often, if I'm gonna stage or style a home, yeah. open my cupboards, I grab a whole bunch of them, throw them in my bag, and they're great for just popping in a little corner, or whatever. Yes. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to, to share with our viewers and say, okay, well, you've probably got these shapes in your cupboards, so what can we do with them? And yeah. there's so many different places in our home that we can, use, can them. use them. So I thought we'd have some fun doing it. Let's do that. Let's show them a picture right off the top right. now. So this is um, a lovely use of these um, vases. So, so they're just multiple for candles. Use. You got it. I mean, this kind of gets us in, in the holiday spirit for sure. Yeah. This is from Crate and Barrel, but it's showing different heights. And we all kind of know the rules. But I thought what you should do yeah. is Take, if you, if you really want to do this right and mix it around your house and get them out of the cupboards, take them all out and put them on your dining room table. Okay. Then the next thing you do is you then start to process of elimination in terms of the shape. Mm -hmm. All of the curvilinear ones, put them on the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. All of the square ones, high or low, put them somewhere else. All the crystal, the pinwheel crystal, we, have, we yes. can still use them, but you yeah. know, pull them out. You don't have to use all of them, but it's nice to start to group them. Right. The next thing you want to think about are the different heights. Now, you notice in the picture there was high and low, and those were yeah. all very structured. We maybe don't have those. Yes. So we'll start with that more structured right by you, and you can okay. see that I put candles oh, in these them. these are lovely. They look gorgeous. Yes. But I've also taken a vase, mm -hmm. and I've just put a totally, it's a blue vase. I've stuck some moss in a little faux orchid. Oh, nice. And created a little grouping of three. Yeah. And so you've got this little vignette. Where could that go? It could go on a mantle. Yeah. Coffee table, end table, and on, you know, on a bedroom dresser, you've created a little pretty vignette. Really nice, and you're reusing all of the things that you've got in your cupboard. Yes. This, I think, is genius. Yes, it is. What so, are we using it for here? Okay, so laundry room. Yes. Laundry. Yeah. And of course, now I've looked for some that have lids, and there's lots of places like IKEA, who, of course, you know, they great tables, great, you, you know, like stemware and glassware. Mm -hmm. They often have the lids. So if you are doing that, and especially if you're using pods, make sure that they're, you know, kid friendly. That's right. Now, in my laundry room, I have a little dog shower. So to entice oh. my dogs into the shower, I always have dog bones. Yeah. So I like to have a big glass jar filled with that. Remember, if you want to add a little fun to it, you can buy some clothes pegs, put a bowl yes. full of clothes pegs, and so on. I'd fill mine up with chocolate bars. There's that, too. <laughs> then I'm going to go do my laundry. There's your incentive. Right? right. There's my incentives. Yeah. You've got your detergent in here. You've got anything else you need. Well, your bleach. it's okay to leave something empty or put bleach, for sure. That's right. Yeah. Very nice. Have some fun with it. Okay, so now we're in a kitchen. Maybe it's a little galley kitchen and mm -hmm. a condo. I love to be able to create little vignettes anyway just to make them pretty. Yeah. So to the right or left of a, of a cooktop, I like to put oils and things. But, yep. but if I'm using my vases, now here I've mixed. Yes. I put more of a cylindrical vase and then I've got some square ones. And this right. is just really pretty. You could put it on a coffee table, you could put it on a little bar cart. Mm -hmm. And I've just, you know, water. It's a good little little tray to carry around if you're going to work at a home office or something. That's right. right? I just leave this out if I'm entertaining. I put all of the uh, the flatware in a yes. vase. Yes. It's just easy. It's casual entertaining anyways. It's Grab fun. what you need, leave what you don't. And, and it even, looks pretty. And also even the wider vase, uh, you can put breadsticks in. You can. And you can use that as almost a prop. It kind of looks like, oh, here, you know, I, I always have French bread. You right, know, just hanging ready out. Ready to break off. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, let's move to, <laughs> exactly. What world are we living in, Tracy? <laughs> but uh, it's a good world. It's a good world. Well, let's move to the office. Okay. So, again, these are really beautiful, crate and barrel, and they're they're just, I love the shape of these. It's a good idea. So, again, find different heights, maybe yeah. different shapes. I love to be able to keep things organized. I'm a designer, so I love to be able to, you know, my stapler, my all the stuff that I need, and yeah. any home office can certainly use those kinds of things. Use them up, put them on the corner of your desk, they're good to go. Very nice. Even more so, my home okay, office. Okay, so these are good ideas. Yeah, go big. Okay, as a designer, I do use drawings, look at drawings, yes. wallpaper samples. This is, it's great to have something kind of big. Gift you wraps. You can also, exactly. Umbrellas. Exactly. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use this stuff at home. These yes, are great ideas. Even just branches at this time of yes. year, you know, go out and start to clip and snap and you can really, uh, you know, really create a nice vignette. So mm -hmm. here, again, just baskets, adding texture. Yeah. You don't necessarily, now just kind of move really quickly 
over to the, the little coffee table, you don't necessarily have to fill everything. Yeah. So these have a similar co uh, denominator, common denominator of kind of blue, blue, gray in yeah. terms of the color. So I put those together, but you notice only one has flowers and then done something a little bit organic with a little low vase, a little bowl nice. and add moss. Again, a little, a little snip from the garden to kind yeah. of keep it, you know, seasonal. And you've got a really pretty vignette that again is using up all those, those glass vases, get them out, put them out, have some fun. It can all be functional and pretty.